Well, uh, Qatar Friendship Fund, or what we call the QFF, uh, founded immediately after the uh, great earthquake and tsunami which hit uh, Japan in, in 2011. Uh, His Highness the Emir of Qatar uh, has instructed us to reach out to our friends uh, in Japan and help uh, with whatever we can do to our friends just to get them or uh, help them out of this uh, uh, earthquake uh, and tsunami uh, uh, tragedy effects. So uh, uh, His Highness has uh, uh, announced a gift to the people of Japan for $100 million so we can uh, uh, build whatever has been uh, damaged or help on building some of what has been uh, damaged from that uh, uh, event. To be honest, I was very touched by the, uh, the, the children of Japan and the, their, uh, uh, their look into their face. Uh, you can tell that they are determined, even though the sorrow inside them are deep, but you can tell that their determination of to, to rebuild and come back to the, to, to the life is stronger. And uh, they gave me that uh, uh, strength from their their look uh, i managed to uh, to uh, take some of the children to the to the mountain or where there is a s uh, ski resort there we spent some time but honestly speaking i felt that they are coming stronger than before well um, initially we wanted to enhance three areas were being damaged in Japan. Uh, for example, we focused on the health sector, education, and fishery. Since the, uh, the strike of the earthquake uh, and the tsunami came on the east coast, where most of the people at that side are living on, on, on fishery, most of their job are uh, built on, on, on that field sector. So we, we, we uh, focused on that three area. Uh, we tried to build rehabilitation centers, we tried to build a, a fishery processing plant there, and also we tried to help on the education uh, facilities as well there. Qatar and Japan relation goes back to the, you know, 40 years back, and we, we established a diplomatic relation in 1972 or so. Uh, and uh, at, that, at that time, mainly our relation with Japan is uh, exporting uh, oil uh, to Japan. And, and, and then it's developed to, uh, to, uh, to uh, LNG uh, gas product. Japan. We wanted to extend it, our relation with Japan. We want to enhance it on 360 degrees. Uh, relation, i.e., in, in cultural, in uh, uh, education, and in, in other friendship than the just the sec the oil and gas sector. And this is how we look to our relation with Japan. And uh, to be honest uh, with you, the time we started to work this project, the QFF project, we felt that it has a great impact also on enhancing and cementing the relation in another direction than only the trade, limiting it to the trade only. With our new approach now, with our new uh, interaction and event with Japan, I think we are on the right path uh, to give the Japanese chance to know us on this area more and more by, uh, you know, diversifying, diversifying the, uh, you know, the, uh, the relation, if you may call, and engaging the Japanese uh, and Qataris in, in, in different activities, uh, like we, we managed to invite so many students from different schools in Japan to come to Qatar and see around. Uh, we, we, we took them uh, to see our cultural, our uh, museum sites, our, uh, our things which, is, which will allow them to, 
to go and tell a story when they go back to Japan, and, and this story will be spread, uh, you know, uh, around Japan about their experience in Qatar and who are the Qataris are. So we are trying, uh, when, when we are reaching out to Japan, we are trying to uh, uh, enhance more and more the interaction, culturally interaction between both of us. Japan for us is a strategic uh, partnership. Uh, maybe as I told you, we focused on uh, some areas and we uh, disregard for, uh, for somehow some the other issues. But uh, I think uh, Qatar 20, Qatar Japan 2012 relationship uh, celebration will at least, uh, you know, uh, light, uh, you know, uh, or, or focus a spotlight on what is the relation should be uh, and the way we look at the relation, how the relation we should look at it f between both of us. Well, we always uh, working uh, uh, through our 2030 vision in Qatar anyway. And our objective always is to, uh, to be a knowledge-based uh, economy in Qatar. And uh, what I would love to see in 2030 that the Japanese are uh, using our technology means and uh, knowing Qatar more and more of using our products, uh, you know, exported to them. This is what I would like to see it.